بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ ہی وی ہیو ایم آر ایف دی برین پیشنٹ پریزنٹ ود دی ہسٹری آف ریپیٹڈ ہیڈ انجریز اینڈ ہی وی سی دس از ٹی ون ویٹڈ سیکوینس فلیئر سیکوینس اینڈ دس ون از ٹی ٹو ویٹڈ ایکسیل سیکوینس we can see abnormal signals in left frontal lobe and left temporal lobe and similarly we can see abnormal signals in cortical portion of the right temporal lobe as well we can see mix signals in these areas while low signal intensity areas on flare and t2 weighted images appears bright on t1 weighted sequence suggesting hemorrhagic component so these multiple areas represent hemorrhagic contusions involving left temporal lobe left frontal lobe and out of respect to the right temporal lobe similarly we can see a very tiny strip of increased signals in subdural space over left occipital lobe and this represents tiny strip of subdural hematoma here we can also see abnormal signals in subdural space over right temporal lobe which can be further confirmed on flare sequence suggesting subdural hematoma mild primitive changes are noted in ethmoid ASL on left side so in this case we have seen post-traumatic hemorrhagic contusions in multiple lobes predominantly on left side why tiny strip of subdural hematoma is also appreciated over left occipital lobe and right temporal lobe thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah